is my best trait, I say fashion Cause everything's a statement and I be killing fabrics Every fit I create is great, it screams bad chicken At this rate, the hate is seems average and misplaced Hey girlies, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Welcome if you're new. I recently came back from Miami and I had such a great time. That Miami vlog has been posted. The editing, the quality, the vibes, literally top tier. So make sure you go check it out. I will also link it in the cards above just in case you wanna check it out right now. In Miami, I was obviously serving looks. And since I didn't get to do a try on haul before this vacation, I wanted to make sure I give you guys a Miami lookbook just so you guys can kind of see what outfits I put together and where I got them from. All the links, unless they're sold out, will be included within the description box just in case you guys want to go check out the item and purchase it for yourself. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below. We are on the road to 1K and make sure to comment your favorite outfit within this video down below in the comment section. This first outfit is actually the first outfit that I wore when I touched down in Miami. Me and my girl Flo, we had just touched down, got to the hotel, showered, changed, and got ready to eat. Here you can see I'm pictured wearing orange shorts, which I actually ordered from Shein. So I actually got a size medium or a size six. I will put all the sizing down below in the description box. These orange shorts are actually part of a two-piece set, which on Shein you're allowed to order the two-piece set separately. So I ordered the bottom in a medium and the top in a small. I just didn't like the top. The top is kind of like this bralette and you actually have to tie it up in the front and then it's long enough where you can kind of tie it around your body. However, when I tried it on before going on this trip, it didn't really fit me well and I also think it's because the material is so loose, doesn't have any wire or real good support for people who have, you know, bigger girls. So I personally didn't really like it. I ended up replacing the top with this white crop top, which is probably about two summer seasons old. So I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to have the link for you guys with this. But these orange shorts are so cute that you really can pair it with any type of white crop top or even a white bodysuit. The orange shorts is really the statement piece of this outfit. As you can see, it has like the folded frill on top, which is really what drew me into purchasing this item. As for the shoes, I paired this outfit with some beige sandals, which I got from Shein as well. I actually purchased these sandals when I was going to Jamaica, but I ended up not wearing it. I'm actually surprised that I really like these sandals because I normally don't order shoes from Shein at all anymore because I realize that a lot of the shoes on their website, personally, in my opinion, I feel like it's mostly for people with wider feet. I know not all of their shoes fit like that, but a lot of the shoes that I've gotten in the past do fit like that. So I just kind of like shy away from ordering any type of shoes from Shein. However, these sandals were so cute. So I was like, let me just try my luck. And honestly, I'm actually happy that I did that because the sandals fit perfectly. I recently checked back on Shein to make sure that the shoes are still available and they actually added a couple more colors. So I think they have a blue color as well as an orange color. And lastly, you can see I added a green Telfar bag to the outfit. This Telfar is actually not mine. I actually don't have a green Telfar bag. It's actually Flo. So shout out to her. She allowed me to borrow her bag because when packing for Miami, I didn't want to bring too much. I wanted to bring enough bags that I could kind of repeat with certain outfits just to kind of like keep my packing light, although I still ended up overpacking like usual. So in doing that, I ended up forgetting to bring a white bag. So Flo allowed me to borrow her green Telfar and it completed the look so seamlessly. For this next look, this is when we went out to party that night. I literally did not know how to dress for this event because they didn't have a dress code. So um, I ended up going with this two piece, this white two piece, which you know, I feel like is the in-between of like real cute, real casual, but also like upscale if it needs to be. And this two piece is actually from Shein as well. I actually ordered this before I went to Jamaica, but I already knew that I was going to Miami. So I was like, let me save this look for Miami. It looks more of a Miami look and I'm happy I did that. So as you can see with this two piece, I ordered a medium and specifically with this two piece, you had to order them together. So both the crop top and the maxi skirt is a medium. I don't like that I had to order it together only because on the top, I do need a small just because it is a bandeau. So you kind of want it to fit a little bit tighter. The top was a little bit loose, but I definitely got away with it. 
As for the skirt, the skirt fit fine. It does have a lot of stretch, so I possibly could have gotten away with wearing a small. But other than that, it fit perfectly. The skirt goes all the way down to my ankles. And I ended up pairing this outfit with the same sandals that I had on in the first outfit. I didn't want to do an all white affair with the shoes, so I feel like the white and the beige was a perfect balance. And then I added on this pink bag, which I absolutely fell in love with when I opened the packaging. This bag is actually also from Shein. And sometimes I get nervous opening certain items from Shein just based on color. A color can look a certain way online and then you get the bag or you get the clothing item and the color is not the same. But this bag, this bag, the color of this bag looks the exact same in person as it does on the website. So I was extremely happy with that. This pink bag does come with a crossbody string, although I did tuck it in the bag specifically for this outfit. This next look is from day two. And I honestly feel like day two is when I started upping the ante for how I was dressing. I feel like the looks from here and beyond, they just look superb. So for this look, this is actually one of my favorite looks off of the trip. Although I was really sad because I feel like the sun did not come out to play that morning when it was time for me to take my pictures. I actually loved how simple I kept this look with the color blocking. So I ended up wearing this look to brunch. And for brunch, I wore sandals. I had on these white sandals. And I also insert the clip of um, Flo taking a video of me. And you can see I have on white sandals to go with this look. But in the picture that I'll also post, I had on blue sandals as well. So I'll touch on both of those. I actually got this yellow skirt from Shein. And one thing that I loved about this skirt was the fact that it had like the drawstring or like the ruching in the front. So you can kind of like draw up the skirt to be how short you want it to be or how long the mini skirt was gonna be on its own. I then paired it with this white bodysuit from Shein Basics. I feel like Shein has definitely been up in the quality when it comes to their basic items, such as like white crop tops, white bodysuits. So the material of this top or this bodysuit was so, so smooth and soft. It really conforms to the body. I got a small in this bodysuit. And then I paired the outfit when I went to brunch with some white sandals. The white sandals I've been had, and I actually think that I got them from like TJ Maxx or Burlington. Something like that. Don't sleep on those stores, guys. Do not sleep on those stores. And then I paired it with the pink bag from Shein. As you guys know, I really was trying to not overpack when it came to bags. So I think I did pretty well with pairing the pink and yellow. Made it really cute. And then I also added my blue sunglasses that I got from Boohoo. And the blue sunglasses were actually supposed to go with some blue heels, as you can see in this picture. Um, but I just didn't choose to wear heels to brunch. So I did take some pictures in the heels when we got back to the hotel. But I just love the pink, yellow, blue, green from my nails. The color blocking was just like seamless and it looked so, so nice together. Next, I'm gonna give you guys some body adi adi in these bathing suits that I wore out in Miami. So for this first bathing suit, I actually got it from Shein. If you guys are going on vacation, the only place, or not the only place, but one of the first places that you should look for bathing suits are Shein. I feel like they have a wide selection of bathing suits. The only thing that I don't like is a lot of the times with bathing suits, you kind of have to order them together. And I know some people like that, but if you do have different sizes on the top and the bottom, that can go one way or the other. For me, I always like ordering my bathing suit tops and bottoms separately just so I can get the size that I really, really need. However, when it's time to order a bathing suit on Shein, I normally always get a medium if I have to order both of the items together. So for this bathing suit, I ordered a medium and as you can see, it's like this pink and yellow marble. And this bathing suit did what it had to do. It fit perfectly, like perfectly. Like it conformed to the body. It had enough stretch. I feel like a lot of the times with certain bras, when it comes to bathing suits, it can be a little exposing. And sometimes I don't mind, but when it comes to doing certain activities, you never wanna feel like your tata is gonna just pop out of the top. And I didn't feel like that at all with this bathing suit. This bathing suit I actually wore on the party boat that I went to. If you guys haven't checked out the vlog, again, make sure you go check it out. But yeah, I really love this. It's actually a three-piece bathing suit. So it comes with the top, 
the panty and the bathing suit skirt, which did what it had to do. It does have some ruching on both sides, so you can make it as short or as long as you want the skirt to be. I like to show a little skin, so I definitely pulled up the skirt a little bit with the drawstring. And as for the sunglasses, these sunglasses are actually from Miss Lola's. I feel like Miss Lola's does not get enough attention. And I don't know if any of you ever heard of Lola Shootique, but they rebranded as Miss Lola. So that's also maybe why, like maybe some people didn't know what it transformed into. But yeah, they have some really good sunglasses and that's where these sunglasses were from. I feel like I'm 50-50 on these sunglasses. They're overall cute, they went with the outfit, but I feel like for me, I'm kind of a girl who likes sunglasses that have a little bit more shade to them. As you can see in this picture, you can really see through the sunglasses and I don't always like that when it comes to sunglasses. Especially like I was on a party boat, getting lit. You wanna just, you know, be in your own space, in your own world with the sunglasses. That's why a lot of the times I like my just regular black sunglasses because they get the job done. But other than that, they really were cute and they just went with the look. This next bathing suit is this yellow bikini and I also got this from Shein. I ended up getting this before Jamaica as well. With this bathing suit, I wore it, but I never took off the cover up. So I had on like this two piece cover up when I went out, but we didn't need to take off the cover up. So no one ever got to see the yellow bathing suit. So I had to wear it again. And I chose to wear it when we spent the morning at the pool. Specifically with this bathing suit, I had to order it all together as well. I ordered a medium. And I feel like in this picture, you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about of why I need to order my pieces separately. I did need a large in the top or at least like an extra large in the top, but it still did what it had to do because we were chilling at the pool. It wasn't really a big deal. I wasn't going to be moving as much or doing activities where I'm jumping up and down or any things of those sorts. So it was okay for this occasion. It also came with the scarf skirt that I put on. These bikinis come in all different colors. So if you want one, get you one it does make the body look good too though so just putting that out there as for the sunglasses these are these black rimless sunglasses and i actually got them from shein i got them a while back like i've had these for a while but honestly shein kind of like repeats some of the things that they have or keep them up on their site these aren't really like trendy sunglasses i feel like these are just sunglasses that everyone has, so I feel like they keep them up on the site and restock. So I'll definitely check for you guys and include it in the description box if it's still up on their site. This next look is given luxury, or at least the scenery is allowing it to look that way. <laughs> in this picture, you can see I'm wearing a two-toned two blue dress that I actually got from none other than, say it with me guys, Shein. <laughs> On the website, they actually had a couple different options. And originally I was gonna pick on the two-toned green dress, but I ended up going with the two-toned blue dress because I felt like I started ordering so much green things. If you guys have been realizing, green has really become the color of the summer this year. And I just started getting too many things in green that I was like, okay, let's take a step back. Let's try a different color. And I ended up choosing this two-toned blue dress. One of the things about this dress when it came that I didn't expect was the top part. So the top part is really, really, really open. And I know it doesn't look like it in this picture because I did have to pin it up. But if you are choosing to get this dress, be mindful of that. You will either have to use double-sided tape so that way the material of the top part of the dress can stick onto your skin or do it like me and pin the top part of the top together. I didn't want my bra to show, so I just had to make sure that I did that for myself. Another thing is that the bottom of this dress is really, really short. You have to keep pulling it down because as you know, a lot of the times when you're walking out on the streets, your dress or your skirt kind of like rides up a little bit. This dress is short enough where you have to just keep making sure to like pull it down when you're walking. Otherwise, your whole front is gonna show because it's like a little slit in the front. So you wanna make sure that you're pulling, you're pulling the dress down. <laughs> I really love this dress. The two-tone um, went really, really nice with the pink bag that I paired from Shein. Other than that, I really love this two-tone dress. It went perfectly with the pink. I feel like blue and pink always looks nice together. And then I paired it with 
these white heels that I had. I actually had these heels from college and I don't remember where I got them from, but they still fit and they still look great. So I paired it with this two-tone dress and added the black sunglasses back as well. Lastly, I forgot to mention the material of this dress does wrinkle very, very fast. And in the hotel, they didn't have an iron, they had a steamer and the steamer just was not working for me. So I had to just do what I could. Make sure you iron the dress before you go out, put it on a hanger, put it up behind your door, just so like the wrinkles flow out of the dress. Otherwise it looks like how I have on. It doesn't look terrible, but it could look better. Now, this look, this look top the charts when it comes to all my looks in Miami. This was actually my favorite look that I wore in Miami and all of the pieces are not from Shein, guys. <laughs> I did get this skirt from Pretty Little Thing and this skirt is actually supposed to be like an aqua green color. The color on the website does look a little different than how it does look in person. Other than that, the draping of this skirt and the way it fit me was like chef's kiss. The skirt fit me so bomb. I was literally obsessed with taking pictures all day. I have pictures in every different location that we went to specifically within this outfit. I also love that this skirt has a little slit on the side so you can show a little leg if you're into that. I added my orange MZ Wallace back to the look, which I've had for years, as well as the beige sandals that you guys already know that I got from Shein. The last piece I've yet to mention is this top. This top was literally stressing me out. <laughs> like stressing me out so the top doesn't have as much stretch in it so specifically the way a lot of crop tops are they have stretch on the top and they have stretch on the bottom this specific crop top did not have stretch on the bottom and the material was not long enough so a lot of the times I had to like keep pulling it down and kind of like pushing it under my strapless bra which didn't really work out all the time. I feel like in some of my pictures, I can see my bra under the top and I didn't really like that. In addition to this, before I went on the trip, I already knew of the problems I was gonna have going and I still went along with it because I couldn't find another crop top that looked as good as this did to go with the skirt. Also had to sew up the sleeves a little bit just because they also were very, very loose and falling off my arms. So I will put the link in the description box that I don't recommend this top. If you guys do it, you're doing it on your own accord. I got a size small in this, and honestly, maybe it's just not for girls with bigger tatas, but I also just wouldn't recommend it because of the way that the shirt was made. Now for the final look. This outfit was very, very simple. Kind of kept it simple because this was in the morning before we were about to go back to New York. We are just kind of going out to brunch. So kind of kept it simple and very light so that it was easy to change into my airport outfit. So this top, I was so excited to wear. I had this top for about uh, almost a year now at this point. You guys have seen it in some lookbooks already, but I never actually got to wear it outside. So this was the first, first time that I actually got to wear this top. This top is actually from a brand called Milflin. It is a black owned brand and I got a size small in this top. One of the things about this top, it does have more of a boxy cut as I think it was mostly made for men to wear. Although I love wearing men tops. I feel like men always have a great variety when it comes to a lot of their button down tops. So I love shopping in the men section when it comes to them. This top does come in other colors such as pink, red, and I think it came in green as well. I then paired this top with some jean shorts, which are actually from Shein. And I got these shorts last year, I think. So these may not be available, but again, you can pair this top with any jean shorts or any jeans. I'll also link my lookbook that I wore this top in, just so you guys can get an idea of how you guys can style it. Those were all of the looks that I wore throughout my Miami vacation. As you guys already know, that green maxi skirt with the white crop top was my absolute fave. But definitely comment below which one of these looks were your favorite. Make sure to go check out my Miami vlog. It definitely was a vibe. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. Until next time, bye guys. <laughs>